Well, we all know Dr. Umar Johnson states a lot of, you know, controversial, you know, statements to a lot of people. A lot of people like Dr. Umar Johnson. Um, I do agree with him on a lot of instances when it comes to uh, politics and some of the things that he say in relation to that. And when he gets to talking about relationships, you know, I can agree with him definitely uh, in a lot of ways. You know, some I may disagree, but Dr. Umar Johnson, you know, had brought up something that's kind of discussed online. And, you know, we know Dr. Umar Johnson likes to talk about snow bunny crisis and he, you know, walks around saying, you know, uh, black Queens forever, snow bunnies never. But this is a video of Dr. Umar Johnson actually talking about something in relation to that dating dynamic. Now I, I will say up front, I'm a half agree with him and some things he'll say, and I'll expound on that here in a minute, but let's get rolling. One of the big differences I noticed between black women and white women when it comes to black men, a white woman will look at a black man for his potential. The black woman will look at the black man for what he's able to provide for me at this moment. The white woman is evaluating the black man with a eye to the future. The black woman is evaluating the black man with an eye to the present. And so because of that, the white woman will find a black man who has nothing, but she sees the potential and she will help him work and build to fulfilling that potential. And a lot of times when we see brothers with these white women, he didn't meet her after he got rich. He met her when he was broke. She built him into the millionaire he is today. Black women need to start finding black men who have potential and then investing in them. Since you make more money, use it to invest in your husband's dream and potential so your money is working for him and you at the same time. But this mindset of you need to have the bag when I meet you. Come back and find me when you get the bag. You know what the problem with that is? When the man does finally get himself together, the black man, it might be 10 years after he met her. So even though he got it together, he ain't interested in her no more. So what Dr. Umar Johnson is talking about is basically, if you look at it like investments, you got some people that, have a long-term strategy. They, they believe in the long game. Uh, you can call it the tortoise and the hare strategy where you say, okay, I'm going to go slow and steady, but I know I'm going to have a bigger payoff within five years. I'm going to have a bigger payoff in 10 years versus someone that just wants to, let's say, liken it to the get rich quick scheme. You know, I want it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. That's really what he's talking about in the area, you know, of dating. Now let's look at the dynamics when you talk about the black community and you have, you know, what's right now that modern woman attitude that we see is hypergamy, hypergamy, get the bag, get a man with money, 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 money right now, right now, right now. If you see that, that I mean, that's kind of permeated within, you know, not just in the black community, but it's kind of through American society. Now he's talking about, you know, that the, he say the white woman, but he just not the white woman. It could be the Hispanic woman as well. It could be the Asian woman. It could be the Arab woman, just women outside of black. A lot of those families still have their how their two parent household still intact. So when you say when you have the two parent household intact, well, this is what Dr. Umar should explain. When you have a father in the household, and I'm not saying all black people don't have a father. I'm not saying that, but we know a lot about children, unfortunately are raised in single parent households without a, without a father there. We know this. We know, unfortunately it's been incentivized. We know it's been popularized. It's okay to be a single mom. You don't need a man, yada, 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 until down the line reality sets in. And I always say this, you can't get away from what God has instituted or what God has created. Anything outside of that is not going to work well. Listen, God created man. He said, look, it's not good for man to be alone. So I'm going to create him a help meet. And y'all don't, and a lot of you brothers sitting up here talking about 50, 50, 
that's not even actually the function of, of the woman, according to what God says, says to help me to assist you into doing something. I do it for you. Now, assistance is you doing everything you can and you may be just falling short a little bit. The help me comes in to help you with that. And it's not just financial. I mean, it's all the way around, right? But that's a conversation of a different day. So when you have a father in the household, your dad going to tell you, Hey, this is the kind of man you need to get. Oh, oh, see that man right there. Dad, what you think about him? You know what? Yeah. He kind of working, you know, that job, but I kind of see potential in it. I see it. And he's a good man. Get with him. You understand? A lot of times those, those women that come from other communities that had a dad around, it's important that they dad co-sign you. If the dad don't co-sign you, a lot of times it's going to cause a problem. And in other communities, sometimes they're going to have to choose to be a renegade in their family, or they're going to have to say, you know what? I, my dad don't really cut for you like that. He said that he don't, he don't think you're a good person. X, Y, Z. It, it, it happens. And beyond with you, I wish it was like that in the black community that the black father can say something and the daughter will cut a dude off based off what the father says. And, and, and as I, and as far as fathers, I got daughters. I would never would tell my daughters, Oh, don't be with somebody just because I just don't want them. With them. No, it's like if they're a good person or not, character matters. It's not just cause you make money. I don't care if a dude making a million a year. If I see he's a piece of crap, in his character, his personality, will he respect my daughter? Will he treat her right? Will he honor her? Will he take care of the kids? Will he do everything that was right as a man? No matter how much money a dude make, your character in the, the day is more important. Your morals are more important than, than actually money. Money only going to take you so far, right? So in those other groups, a lot of times the father and what he say matters. So if the dad say, Hey, yeah, that, that dude right there. Yeah. Get with him. We'll support y'all. We'll, we'll help him. You know, what, what does he need? We'll help him. You know, as long as you married in that family or they'll help you. So you look up down the line. He like Dr. Umar talked about 10 years later. And now, like you say, he got the money. Well, he remember, well, well, he didn't have nothing when he got with old girl. Right. And he looked at the times that maybe she gave him some money to help the business help him get his licenses or his uh, school or whatever he had to do. And now he got the bag. Now in the community it looked at, Oh, well, look, when they get money, like Dr. Umar talked about when they get money, Oh, look, he, they just leave and, and go do that. But the fact is her old girl was with him five, 10 years and he didn't have anything. She played the long game. Now what Dr. Umar said is true that get with that brother and see that potential in that brother. So you could be on the other side of it. And at the same time, do the same thing to help that brother get to where he at. Now, let me preface and say this too. Cause we don't want to, what I don't like about this video is that he kind of put it like all sisters didn't do that. And that's not true because I know people personally, there are sisters out here that have gotten with brothers and they had potential and these sisters believed them when they say they want to do this and that and the third, these sisters, you know, tried to give them money, help them open up businesses, do all kinds of things. And the dude didn't do what he's supposed to do. Right. And he ended up leaving anyway. That has happened in, in, in some instances. So I would, we can't say all sisters are that way. And some sisters do say, cause we got to go on both sides of the argument. Some say, well, I've done that with a man or I've done it with a few men and I put all my all in it. I helped him. I did this and that and the third and he didn't turn out to be nothing. So at this point, stage in the game, I don't want a guy that I got to help build up like that. I want a guy that already got it. And then we can just go on and build something together, which if you're picking, if you're picking the wrong kind of guys to build with, cause listen, some people you picking, it's like throwing you, your money in the trash can. That guy didn't have a potential from the start. A lot of times, you know, when you had, when you love somebody, you blinded to red flags a lot of times. So a lot of these sisters are blinded to the red flags, but that guy, but this is where the fathers come in at this where the fathers, cause those women of other communities are blinded by the red flags too. all the, all the women, it don't matter about nobody's color or, or, or culture. The difference is, 
if that father and that father was established as a good man, that father was established as a provider, the father, and that father see that man, he'll say, no, that guy, he lazy. He really don't want to do nothing or he only want to do so much. He don't really want to go up in life where you want to go, baby. You know, you, you trying to go here and he only want to go here and he's fine right here. You don't want a guy to stay here, baby. You want a guy that's going to go up and believe in going to the heavens with you. You understand? That's the difference. The fathers make a difference. That's why I cringe when I see the celebration of single mothers in our community. Oh, he, she having a baby shower. Okay, wh where's the dad at? It's just her by herself. She having a baby shower and we're, we're supporting that. Or, or you have sexy red out here, pregnant as all get out, making songs talking about if, if her baby daddy, and, and just promoting that image like that's okay. And notice the people that own and control that music don't is not part of our community. But yet this image is keep constantly get put out about black women and black girls, et cetera. And, and saying it's okay to be a single mother. And this is how we are left behind as a community. So yes, Dr. Umar is right on but a lot of that. What he said, but the extension of that is the father is what makes the difference with those men. So even if your father isn't with your mom, and if he want to have a relationship with you, have a relationship with your dad, hear his side of the story. Cause not all the time your mammy is telling all the story because I have found out even with my own personal life that your mom got a side and your dad got a side. And then you need to hear both sides and then you need to make the decisions off of what you hear from both sides. You have a right to know what both sides say because sometime I know in the black community, mom is the Holy grail, but mom is human. Mom getting her feelings too. mom. Sometimes want to get at the dad too. And a lot of times we are the only way the kids is the only way that can harm the dad. And then because men, we are built different and we don't like certain things. Some men say, man, I'm just not going to even, you know, now do I agree with that? No, but it happens. So here, dad side of the story too. If you're grown, make a relationship with them. If they, if the dad want to, now, if he don't want to, I'm not forcing you to make a relationship with nobody that don't want you, but talk to your father because ladies and, and sons too. Cause me, when I got an issue and problem, I pick up the phone. I call my dad. Hey dad, just the other day I had an issue. I picked up the phone, called him. He, he, he let me understand some things, some things I wasn't seeing, some things I, something I needed to do. And I, and, and I, I thanked him for that, for setting me straight. And I went, did what he told me and it worked out fine. But if I didn't have a relationship with my father, who, who is no other man on earth. I'm going to pick up the phone and call like I'm going to call my dad. None. Because that's my father. He, he know me. He, hell, he made me right. So have a relationship with your father. Let your father. And if your father, he may not be around. Let's say he passed away. He could be wherever. He's just not around. Do you have an uncle? Do you know that that's, that's kind of that fatherly role to you? Do you, do you have a, a, a cousin or some older cousin or something that can look out for you and say, Hey, what do you think about this guy? You know, you think he's a good guy or not? Cause I don't want to get involved with him and let the men tell you ladies and vice versa with the men. I mean, look, let the women in your life who really love you and care for you. Look at that woman you about to get involved with. Because a lot of times as men, we make mistakes too. Sometimes them women is no good. And you may be, you know, smitten with her look and all that, but the women can see, uh-uh, that girl ain't no good at all. And I'm going to tell you why that girl ain't no good. And listen to the women in your family because they're looking out for you, bro. And then you get, then you get that girl pregnant and dealing with, with hell, and then the women in your family are shaking their head like, we told you about that girl. You didn't want to listen. So please listen when it comes to, to, to that area when, when, when you have good family members that are looking out for you. But... We, we got to get back to that. Letting the men, let the men that you bring it in pass by the fathers. 
and we can prevent some of these issues and problems. Cause they get the bag stuff that, that that's getting women caught up every day and literally relegating some women in their mindset to street walkers. And I know really you don't want that kind of 